The boys' hostel has been hit the hardest by these unhygienic toilets, and this is what the learners had to say. This time of Corona, our toilets were not in good condition. It was not flushing, and they are dirty. I want to help myself. I used to take along my benzene when I do excretion. I used to pour water in a, in a pot. Okay, I'm a the Ziku. From grade 11 a the head boy of the school. The challenge that we have now, we have a, a problem about the hostel, the hostel, uh, the first hostel. We have a problem about toilets, especially with our toilets. We don't have enough toilets. Some toilets are locked like this one. <laughs> this one is locked, but we have another toilet which are not flashing steel toilets on the other side. It's not virtual as well. Can you, can you use those toilets, we forced to use those to toilets, but they are not functioning well. There's, there's no water in the toilet, but we use just a kind of using, but they are not functioning well. Now, we have a problem with this issue. My name is Yalago Kure, my son name is Kapike. I am grade 12 learners. And I want to, 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 to express our problem in our boys' hostel. And we have issues of toilets that are not functioning well, that are out of water. Our toilets are not functioning well. Student Union of Namibia National Spokesperson Tyson Hapungwapo said that the toilets are in deploring conditions and this could lead to coronavirus infections. The boys are forced to stay in a hostel that does not have a proper uh, toilet infrastructures. And uh, this is very shocking uh, to learn about it because uh, before the school was locked down uh, due to the COVID, the Ministry of Higher Education or Ministry of Basic Education have built money to make sure that the schools that don't have proper infrastructure uh, and proper water and uh, toilet sanitizers are provided. But unfortunately to Omureti, the school management have slipped on this matter. Uh, they forced to open school with uh, toilet that are no functioning, then are forced to sit in a toilet that is very unacceptable and the situation now is affecting the health of these boys. Habungwapo added that the Ministry of Basic Education, Arts and Culture has been given the upcoming long weekend to provide the learners with an up to standard facilities. So we call upon the school management to utilize the long weekend of 18, that is 10 days, to make sure that they improve the situation of the hostel. After the school resume, after this long weekend, we want this situation to be resolved. Failure to that, as a radical student organization, that our interest is always about the learner welfare. And that also includes their wealth, their health issue. So if the situation is not improved after the long weekend, we are forced with no, uh, with no option but to make sure we lock down this school. According to the learners, Grade 10 learners were not allowed to continue with face-to-face -face classes due to the dirty toilets.